A boundary is something you tell someone you will do and it requires the other person to do nothing. I'll use my son as an example. He'd get into the elevator in our building and just press every button. And I would be in the lobby and I'd say, don't, don't press the buttons. Don't press the buttons. You're not gonna press the buttons. He pressed them. He never listens to me. It's not listening. I'm gonna go back to the definition of boundaries. A boundary is something I would tell my kid I will do and it would require my kid to do nothing. I was not setting a boundary. I was making a request. But understanding when we're setting a boundary and when we're making a request actually helps us understand a listening problem. If I really don't want my kid to press those buttons and he's young and he just doesn't have the ability to manage those urges. I'd say when we get into the elevator, just so you know, I'm gonna stand between you and the buttons. I'm just not gonna let you press all the buttons in the elevator. That is a boundary. Often those boundaries are physical. If it's too hard to turn off the TV, by the time I get over to you, I will take the remote, sweetie, because screen time is over. And when we set an actual boundary, you know what it always prevents? Let me have the remote, let me have the remote. I ask you for the remote, I ask you for the remote. Why don't you give me the remote? And then we say, you know, forget it. No screen time tomorrow. And then we're like the only one who suffers from that decision because actually I just didn't do my job in the beginning of setting a boundary.